In this video, I'll give you 5 comfy covers for your crochet hooks. If your hands are hurting and you don't want to buy those super expensive ergonomic hooks, I got you. You can make your own in seconds to a few minutes with less than $3. So let's get into it. Option number one is the tennis ball. I know it sounds crazy, but guys, it really, really works. To attach it to your hook as an ergonomic handle, you will need something sharp, like a knife or a thread snip. I have a thread snip here. And all you have to do is punch two holes on two opposite sides of the ball and then put your hook through. I find it better if you put it through with the end and push it onto your table. I like to place it here, halfway where the finger should rest. If you hold your hook like a knife, your grip will be like this. Or if you hold your yarn up here, if you hold your hook like a pencil, this will be your grip. On the pro side, I made this in seconds. It's quiet, the ball fits nicely inside of my hand, providing just the right support for it. It doesn't slide on the hook. I can easily remove it and reuse it for any of my other hooks that don't have a handle, such as the metallic and bamboo ones. On the con side, no color options, the surface of the ball is a bit rough, the ball itself is not squishy and your hand does get a little bit sweaty. The roughness can be fixed though with a little sandpaper. I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Option number 2, believe it or not, is a swim stick made out of foam. <laughs> I thought that it's about the same size as the tennis ball. This weighs less than the tennis ball. It's squishier. But I did not like that the crochet hook slides way too easy here. However, I found a solution. If you push your finger against the crochet hook like this, you won't have any issues at all. And this one takes about 10 to 15 minutes to make. It involves a lot more materials here. I started by measuring 10 and a half centimeters from the edge. Then I used the cutter to actually cut to that size. Then I just used the cutter to cut off some of this part here <laughs> to give it sort of this shape. I used sandpaper and went all over the place to have this punch have this texture. And my husband, who is great with tools, <laughs> he suggested that I just place it on an electric drill. Let me show you. To use this crazy ergonomic handle, push your pointer finger against the crochet hook. If you're holding your hook like a pencil, this might not work for you. I mean, not this shape. If you shape it round like the tennis ball, this will work for you as well, because you will be able to firmly grip it and work with it. 
I will give this ergonomic handle a 3.5 out of 5. Option number 3 is the adhesive bandage. With this one, things are super quick, super easy. The material feels nice and soft, lots of color options. It doesn't slide, it provides nice support for my hands. On the con side, it does sound a little weird when I move my hand on its surface and I can't use it for any other hooks once it's in place, it remains in place. Also, you don't really know what your hook size is. Once you wrap this around, you have to use a marker or something or some sort of label to mark your hook. Or maybe, I don't know, have a chart where you write like purple is my 5mm hook and orange is my 4mm hook and yellow is my 3mm hook. So all you have to do with this one, just grab your crochet hook, take this bad boy out of its package, start wrapping around the crochet hook until it's finished and then just squeeze it tight. And yeah, I'll give this a 3 out of 5. Option number 4 is the crochet handle. This one you make yourself and you can use whatever material you want. I used this cute velvet material. The crochet slides really easily. The material feels really nice and soft. It's squishy. I could have used a ton of other materials that are super nice to the touch. I have with this option lots of colors I can use. I could have easily adjusted the size. I can easily remove it and reuse it. It provides nice support for my hand. On the con side, it took me longer to make it, about 30 minutes, and it makes my hand sweat a little. Let me show you how to make it. Using a 6mm crochet hook, I chained 16. I won't be tightening my slit knot, so I can use this as a stitch as well and start the chains without actually having a slit knot. It has about 12 centimeters. Now we're going to turn our work and we're going to skip the first chain, insert our hook into the next one, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over. Pull through two, and we made a single crochet. Once you reach the end of the row, you're gonna have to turn, and I like to turn my work like this. And we're not gonna chain or anything, we're just gonna go straight into the first single crochet and make another single crochet. And we're going to do this until the end of the row. And you're going to work up like this 16 rows or 12 and a half centimeters. The next thing I'm going to do is sew this like this together. And I'm going to sew it here, here, and here. I'm going to use my tail end here. Take a look at this fluff. <laughs> and now we're gonna grab our crochet hook and pull all those tails inside of our work. Okay, so we have this little fluffer. And now we have 
to ooh, roll it really tightly. Give it a nice little shape here. And make sure it's really secure here. I'm gonna go through two or three times before moving on. And that's it guys. Now we can insert our hook in the center here. And let me show you how this works. Again with this one because it slides not as badly but it will slide you will have to push your pointer finger here let me switch crochets So if you're going to be using a crochet that already has an ergonomic handle, there will be no sliding. The sliding happens when you use the metallic and the bamboo ones. And if this is your grip, it still works really well. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of trouble with this because this is not the way I usually hold my hook. But if this is yours, you shouldn't have any problems with it. I'll give this a 3.5 out of 5. Option number 5 is the beauty blenders these are super squishy and they feel awesome to the touch And if you're holding it like this, again, a lot of support for your wrist. Really, really nice. On the pro side is the quickest one of the bunch. The material feels awesome and squishy, lots of color options, I can remove it and reuse it for any of the non-handle hooks in my home. 
It provides nice support for my hands. It doesn't slide on the hook. On the con side, guys, I don't have any con side. <laughs> This one is the winner for me. I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Go out there, get your beauty blenders and try this because you will love it. Tell me in the comment section which one you like, which you'd try or have already tried, what other types of handles you made for your hooks and your thoughts on the topic. Tap those like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you next time. Get hooked on joy. Bye!